What? You caught me when I was yawning. Get it together. <laughs> what is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilbur and Shenanigans. My name is Chad, and this is D, and we back with another great video. video. If you are new, make sure you smash that subscribe button, get this video a thumbs up, and also notification. Bye. Gang. At all times. Today, we are going into something a little bit... You know, you got to just, you know, look at stuff and admire it, see it, speak it in existence, how people say and claim it is yours. But we are going into inside of your LaMelo Ball's home, which is rating at 10.1 million a dollar. LaMelo? Who's LaMelo? The, the bald guy? The Melo. Wait, what? The bald guy, the ball, bro, the ball is the dad, LaMelo Ball? No? Yes, but yeah. you said the dad. Well, I'm seeing like that's where it's from, like the dad, the dad with the three. Lavar is the dad. Yeah. Lamelo is the the son that's in. Which the, one? The I think the youngest one. The one that had that glow up. Yes. Mm. Ten point one million. Jesus Christ. Wait, the young one has that. This is his crib. Crib. Young man, do your thing. No, young man did his thing. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at him all. But he by himself. He ain't got no kids or nothing. Like ten point one million. Lord Jesus, bro. Like you could have bought a condo. They probably all live in it though. You better believe he living it. This so 10.1 million, you better live in it. Square foot mega mansion is now home to Hornet. He listened to himself, Echo and Hollis. Mellow Ball. The mansion is truly a one of a kind piece of luxury real estate. That's nice though. That bought by Lamelo nice. for slightly over ten million. You know what? Before we even go into, I'm I'm not gonna be that person. I want you to come off saying like, oh yeah, if you had it, you would do it. I would. I ain't gonna lie. If I like, look. You looking at me sideways like no, that's too much. Right? I'm not saying it's not too much house. I'm just saying, like, you gotta think sometimes for tax purposes and stuff oh, like yeah. that, they do gotta buy big ass cribs like this to get it written off. Mm -hmm. And so if I had it, I'd chill. If they say, look, child, your taxes are gonna rape you, you need a 10 point. You were the white sign. You know what? Let me go ahead and get that crib, bro. Let me get it. I'm over here saying I might not. I might just slide in there for taxes purposes. You know, taxes don't play in California. This new home features eleven bedrooms. Jesus Christ! 18 bathrooms? How many asses do you need? Wait, toilets fight? you gotta clean? He ain't clean. That's all I thought about is cleaning toilets. Why so many bathrooms compared to rooms? My mama be like, I ain't cleaning. My mama be like, that's 18 a lot. Toilets? I feel like it should be like 11, 11. I feel like you got one bathroom that ain't get touched in this dirt. They gonna go in there and be like, oh, it's that's Nigga, I got 18 bathrooms. No, but that's what I'm saying. Why so many bathrooms as far as like bedrooms? Nigga, like if, if anything, you, just well, put a bathroom in each bedroom. The good bedroom. thing about this house, if you gotta go, you, you got opportunities. Yeah. You just ain't gotta worry about people taking it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people. A massive indoor pool that and pool even nice. comes with its own helicopter. The backyard features a resort like spa That's too far, area and you a don't know private beach I can't have all spanning that. half the length of a football field. Godzilla might be out there waiting for you. But before we give you an exclusive look inside LaMelo's new mega mansion, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new and enjoy the content. First off, the mansion is located in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and was recently purchased by Mello back in January of 2021. He is expected to pay $107,000 per year in property taxes due to the home's location okay, and value, I thought he like a month. which shouldn't be a problem considering he already has a net worth of $140 million at 19 years old. Jesus! Now. Let's Ooh, begin at the end. Walking in, you've got 30 foot ceilings mm. and are greeted with a grand double bridal staircase. And if you look up, you can see Mello's custom built diamond chandelier, which he reportedly paid $600,000. He got taste. From the entrance, got taste. the home flows into a 300 person ballroom that includes floor to ceiling glass windows. He can host whatever party he wants. North Atlantic Ocean. 300 people? The mansion also has its own helipad. So whether Mello wants to arrive home. Look, I'm just going to be honest right there with the helipad. I ain't, I'm not hating. I'm about to say what I would do. Look, have y'all seen the Wolf of Wall Street? That's me. I'm coming in three in the morning, honey. I'm flying in. You better not be drinking. I, I ain't driving. I'm going to fly in. Then my homie going to fly me in. That's me. See, that's why I don't need nothing like this. Because I'm going to be doing. I'm honest. I'm going to be doing some crazy stuff. You give me a helicopter. It is on. Babe, what you want to eat tonight? It ain't going to be no regular talking. We can fly. But does he have a helicopter? Watch me land on McDonald. I don't even like McDonald. Watch me land on Chipotle. But does he have a uh, Does he have a uh, Does he have a helicopter? I'm pretty sure he does. Well, man, catch me flying at Chick Fil A. Mm. Really? Why is this? Who is that? I'm coming. Let me get my burrito. What you mean it ain't on time? My helicopter out there. A burrito from Chick Fil A. I had to go somewhere. I'll fly out the state if I could. Bro. A burrito. From if they give me clearance, they to don't fly. even sell burritos at Chick Fil A. Do you know you can fly to L.A. Yeah. You can go grab something and come back. 
You're See, that's what I was saying. You ain't on my you're level. That's why. It. You ain't feeling you're me. You're overdoing it. You ain't feeling me. Like you car, ain't feeling me yet. Water or the sky, he can. And when you have a home of this caliber, I'd say it's good to have options on how you that's arrive. Sick. Moving on to the kitchen area, that's you can see just how spacious this place is. The kitchen is state of the art, featuring a bar, a wine refrigerator, double sub zero sinks, mm -hmm. and wolf stoves. The kitchen appliances alone cost Mello a light 100,000. He also has an in home chef the Hornets hired for him to help him eat healthier. They ordered him. The a kitchen chef? also has its own living room area with a huge flat screen TV and a wraparound patio what TV outside. Is that? That's huge. Going upstairs to the master bedroom, when you first walk in, you are greeted by an incredible view overlooking the That's Atlantic. That's so nice. And going outside it. to he the bedroom. He got a little funny. That's how you know it's a dude's house. Like, you see little funny like that, area, you know you're in a dude's house. Which LaMelo titled bed. Atlantis. The bedroom's bathroom is covered in expensive marble and features a massive steam shower that has 12 different sprays and built-in speakers. For he got a car wash as a shower. You can park a car in there and wash it. The bathroom also overlooks the 3,000 square foot indoor pool area, which has its own time. entertainment center and gym. When Lamelo first bought Carolina, the house, though. this area was actually something completely different. After buying the mansion, Melo had this entire indoor pool area custom built. So he went in and did that. So he that wasn't a part of the crib. Cost him an additional $1.2 million to build. But judging by the way it turned out, we'd say it was definitely worth the extra million. Now, after you get done swimming in the indoor pool, yeah, let you me can know take the next. elevator down to the basement and watch. Go! I, I want to know. Do you say elevator? Yes. But you know they have elevators for like one bed, one story, two story. Like, it's just a little. Ooh. He got an elevator to help. Man, I ain't gonna never use the stairs. That's why I don't meant to have one. I use it. No, I use the elevator. I'm not using. You know, you know how hard it is to go no. up the stairs, drunk. Oh well, yeah. Ah, babe, I'm coming up. It's your favorite movies in the theater, which has twelve stupidly expensive crocodile leather seats stupidly that expensive? sit on stadium He didn't even put right. He put so crocodile everyone seat. in the theater can see the screen. He says stupidly. Expensive. Other than the theater, Mello's basement is mostly empty for now. But according to Yahoo Sports, Mello has plans of building an indoor bowling alley and a nightclub in his 8,000 square foot I was going to say a basement. strip club, but they said nightclub. Now, this isn't just any regular mansion, though. LaMelo's mansion is actually right next to his new boss, Michael Jordan. He lived next door to Michael Jordan. Hornets. But people close to Mello said that Michael actually talked him into buying the mansion. He didn't want the young point guard throwing any crazy parties or doing anything stupid that could possibly ruin his promising That's NBA respect. career. That's dope. Wait, Which is why so Michael Jordan stays in North Carolina? Because that's where the house is. That's where he's from. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's where he went to college. I don't know. Is Michael Jordan North Carolina? I think he's from North Carolina. I know he went to college there, though. But that's dope, though, that you're looking out for him. Young fella, spending that money, be out there and just in trouble. So he could keep a close eye on him. Lamelo's ten million dollar mansion. He might want to reconsider that club then. Eight car garage. Jordan gonna be that pulling stores up. his stacked one million dollar car collection. Look at that. Inside Lamelo's car collection is a new 2021 Lamborghini truck that he bought mm. a few months after being drafted. It is said that he dropped a whopping three hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the new Lamborghini truck. Mello also went the extra mile and fully upgraded his lamb truck with nitrous and a custom orange paint job. I like orange. Mello has Let's also been nitrous. seen driving a brand new $450,000 Rolls Royce truck, which was a draft guy gift from his older brother, Lonzo. His dad, LeVar, also gifted him a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan, which reportedly cost two hundred. We just get from stuff around here. I mean, I like their gifts. Now, I need to start with all these expensive like cars sitting in nice garage. Gifts. You'd think he'd buy some hefty security, right? I'd be happy to get ten dollars. Instead of getting a regular security team like most celebrities would, Mello went ahead and bought two Rottweilers to protect his massive estate. He reportedly paid like a total of ten thousand dollars for both his Rottweiler puppies. 
But perhaps the most interesting thing about this is that Mello actually bought both his Rottweilers a fully iced out diamond dog chain collar <laughs> with their names engraved in the chains. That's cute. It is said that each chain cost Lamello $50,000 totaling $100,000 on just two dog chains. When asked why he decided his to spend dog. so much money. His dog got a $100,000, $50,000 chain? His dog? Man. And hey, y'all here flexing. Man, he, his dog's got $50,000 chains. Y'all here with $2,000 chains flex. His dog. That's expensive. Barley's collar was like $9.99. <laughs> Wow. And I was complaining about that. My dog collar was like, not, okay, maybe $14. Still. <sighs> Funny on his dogs, he simply replied, I got my dog some chains so that they could have some drip. I got my dog a chain so he can have some drip. <laughs> but the spending didn't stop there. When you're 19 and worth $140 million, why not put your money where your mouth is? Yeah, yeah. Let me show Literally. you. Mello celebrated getting drafted by the Hornets by purchasing himself a custom diamond grill from no other than Johnny Dang himself. That is the fine. iced out that grill is reportedly insane. cost Lamelo five hundred thousand. I'm gonna go ahead and just not look at it no more. Then. When Mello was asked why he decided to spend so much money on the grill, he said, "Once you get into the NBA, you're surrounded by a bunch of guys who already have all the most expensive stuff, and since I was a rookie, they kept trying to play me like I didn't have it." So I went out and bought the grill from Johnny to show them that I got heavy pockets too. Was that your first big purchase uh, with, with the NBA contract? Nah, I don't spend my NBA money. I'm smarter than that, man. Fans on Twitter slammed Mello, telling him to get his priorities straight and not blow his first paycheck on what can only be described as a stupid purchase. It's One stupid fan to you, wrote, but that's, that's what he wants. Saying that he hasn't learned from people like Delonte West yet. You see what happens to people who blow their money like that? They end up homeless. They're two Lamello different people. I mean, fan saying he hasn't spent one cent of his NBA exactly. Money he did yet, just say that, which I have to say is pretty hard to believe when you see what he bought next. His next purchase was so big, even ESPN had to cover it. Now, most professional athletes, after having a long and successful career, typically buy a share in a sports team. But ballers like Lamelo Ball are a little different. Because before Melo was even drafted into the NBA, he purchased the Australian NBL team, the Alara Hawks, for $10 million. And he didn't even purchase a small share of the team. No, Lamelo purchased the entire franchise at 18 years old. Damn. His manager, Jermaine Jackson, said that Lamelo loves the Illawarra fans, he loves the community, he loves how they opened their arms to him and made us feel like we were at home. When we started hearing about the That's issues huge. that they were going through, we talked about it and decided, you know what, let's own the whole team. Jackson made it clear that Melo will be locked into his NBA career and fully focused on the game, but the right people will be hired to oversee mm -hmm. everything and continue the future and longevity of the Hawks. Do if you, you had the kind doing? of money Maybe with Jordan in his corner, what would be the first thing you would buy? Boy, exactly. Let us know in the comment section below. Early. He, exactly. And if you he's 18, video, but they gotta please understand he's dropping living a like his life. And subscribing to the channel. He like, got, you know I mean? No, it's he... not even that. It's just the fact that like he just said he's not even spending his NBA money. And even if he was, he's making good investments. Like he got hella people in his corner. And before even Michael Jordan, his dad. Like I said that mm -hmm. when he first came out, everybody was hogging his dad. Oh, his dad, this and that. And then he got his other his, brother his, to look at too. His dad got all three of his sons in the NBA. Like nobody can say that. Like he got all his kids in the NBA. Successful. And another thing, this young man is making big he made big purchases, but at the same time, he got investments right along with it. Mm -hmm. You got big boy money too, you're gonna make big boy purchases. Michael Jordan said it best. He was gambling a hundred thousand. That was like a dollar. And shy. people was talking all that mess about him. No, you, you get look at him now. Y'all lined up fighting over his shoes. It's better to say it when you don't have it compared to when you have it, you don't have nothing to say. Well, Melo ain't hurting. That boy, the future of the NBA. Come on now. Y'all, he ain't going nowhere. Y'all talking about he going to lose. Yeah, he said the same thing about his four player, Marshawn Lynch from Oakland. You probably seen him on the Skittles commercial. Mm -hmm. Same thing. He he kept his characteristic, was by, like doing his thing. This man lived through the NFL only on his endorsement checks. Never cashed the NFL check. See? And they talked all that trash. He got the NFL and was like, see? Bought he, he went he buying property in Oakland helping the community out do do all kind of stuff so the same thing the media only gonna show y'all what y'all want to see he bought that grill I guarantee it was headlining like five hundred thousand this and that but I guarantee how much of a headline is that when he bought that team got nothing 
Y'all probably aired it one time. No, because I'll show the hell that nobody bought it. Mm. But I knew about that grill. But y'all went to the con. Oh, but y'all didn't see he bought a team. The media only gonna show y'all what y'all gonna talk about. His five hundred thousand dollar grill and his fifty thousand dollar chains on his dog's necks. But they ain't gonna tell you he bought a team. They ain't gonna tell you he lived next to Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan mentoring him. No. You gotta find out through stuff like this. I never knew that. Didn't even know you lived in the next to Michael. I never knew any of that. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't know none of this. But that's wild. That's crazy. I'm happy for him. Man, he living successful. The way I see it, he only lived once. If you successful, but hold on, we gotta. You know, we gotta say that in the right term. If you successful, you only live. Live. They got money. Some of y'all living without that. You quit acting like they. The same dude that was in the comment that said, "Oh, NBA players, you gonna be like Dante West, brother? You probably out." Making- they don't know what he went through though. They literally, they only know from what they what they see and hear. They don't know mentally, physically, emotionally what that man and went his through. His parents got money. Like, like, he ain't about to lose. Like, even if he do, he got a successful ass family. What y'all, what y'all think they gonna let him just fall? Like, That's what I said. Like, look at his brother. But the same thing, the same people living normal, normal lives, spend money like other people. Like, they might not have millions like him, 10.1. But you some don't of got y'all, McDonald's money, but you spending me. Y'all going to McDonald's every three days a week, buying crab boils. Ain't nobody, let us follow your life around and say, oh, let me see. Oh, damn. You know you can't afford that $60 crab, crab boy. What you going to get it, though? $60. Yeah. Just saying. Uh-huh. And then we be talking. Be you honest. Know. You know what I'm saying? But LaMelo, good job, young man. His dad, great job. Michael Jordan, great job for letting him move next door to you. I don't think you get in that club, though, bro. Uh, it's a strip club. It ain't no nightclub. Yeah, because you said nightclub. Michael Jordan, probably, Michael Jordan probably watched this and said, Make sure y'all say nightclub. Make sure you say it's something else. Because mm-hmm. Michael Jordan going to be at the... from a bowling alley to a nightclub. Michael Jordan going to pull up. Oh, yeah, it's but, too loud. It's a nightclub in here, huh? What's all that banging? What his house look like? Shoot. Michael over there. North Carolina just kind of shocked me that where he's at. That's kind of what blew my mind. Like, North or Carolina. Or Charlotte. They, the Hornets. Oh, they yeah, yeah. Home. They See, I didn't know. Home. I didn't know what team he played for. But that was cool to watch. I like stuff like this. Because me, I don't look at it as a negative. Like, they spending mm-hmm. their money doing their thing. I look at it as a, like a motivation. Like, I might not get 10.1 million. But, shoot, that, that's just living. You know what I'm saying? He living. Living. Just a little taste. Million. You know? Just a little bit. I just want a little. I'm my dog iced out. My barley a chain. <laughs> Big B sitting there. Yeah, Are you done? Sure. Get yeah. out of here. Trying to have a bowling alley or something. I just want to just let me get the shower, the big shower. Like I, mm. I'm not asking for much. You know, a few cars in a garage. Another barley. We got a master. That's barley. That's his name. You know, another barley. No. It's nothing crazy. Uh, maybe an indoor gym, basketball no, court. you doing Ryland, that. Ryland, you got to okay, go. Okay, Ryland. okay. I forgot Ryland. You know, I ain't trying to overdo it. Maybe the some little ice. Had. No, I see down here, you know. You have one. I know, but you know, I need the full. You know, Lamelo's is looking kind of. You know, you have a whole grill. You know, you. <laughs> I bought it and spent money on it. I ain't trying to do too much. A chef, you know you. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm a chef. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to come in there to the filet mignon with something cooked. Because like. you can't make that yourself. It ain't the same. Yeah. You're just getting lazy. Do you know how much point. a chef takes away? You're just being lazy. Do you know a chef? You're she- getting lazy. No, no. You got to look at the benefits of a chef. Like, imagine you sitting at home. You don't got to be like, oh, do you want Chipotle? What if he's like, bro, I can fire some you Chipotle? You can make that up in your mind. Nah, too. I got to get the ingredients. He can go do it for me. You're being lazy. It cuts time. It's all about time. They deliver now. Like, could you imagine sitting on your couch like, dang, you know what sound bomb? But I don't. Then the chef come out. Hey, bro, I can make them wings. You better go on, Jeffrey. Make them wings then. Stop. Shoot. You're done. All right. You're done. I just had to live through You're the video. Done. Can I live through the video? You're done. I just had to live. You're done. Using my imagination. You're being lazy. At this All point. right. Just saying. But thank y'all for tuning back in. Let us know what y'all thought about this house and what he did. All the stuff he bought. Let us know y'all honest opinion about oh, this. How old is he? I don't know, like 2021. 20, Dang, he's young. But thank y'all for tuning back in. Shut up. Yeah, I, I caught. I was just about to end the video, nothing. and I caught what you was over there talking about. He's young, like I just say he's young. But he got. I'm trying to get what he got, and you said, "Oh, it's doing." Too, but he got it now. You want it? I didn't want it. I just say he's young. I say he had a glow up. Boy. Nah, I'm not gonna like his glow up. Like he. Went, I ain't in this video with no lips. He went from a a two to like a ten. Bye. Like his glow Bye. Up I'm not in this video with no lips. Nope. You in your own lips. That's how his glove went. I'm into it.